Welcome everybody to episode 5 of Podcast Charge. I'm your host, Hector Ramirez, alongside here, Captain America himself, Jeremy Temperanza. Hello. How are you doing today, Jeremy? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? Awesome. I'm doing well. Actually, we're filming in a very quirky place today, along with a quirky episode. We have a fun topic that we're going to talk about, but we're actually filming in my home, and I gave you the grand tour of it so yes, a while ago. So, it's a lot Thumbs of... up. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun this episode, though. So, Jeremy... Give a little bit of background on you know where you go to school. Obviously, you're a new guest on Podcast Charge, and you're not actually from UNH. Right. So give a little yeah. background about you. Uh, thanks for having me on. I'm actually a junior at University of Connecticut, but I go to one of the satellite campuses because um, I don't, I don't want to dorm up at stores. Although stores <laughs> is great, I just I like commuting. Um, uh, I study. I'm a double major. I study history and human development and family studies, which a lot of people ask, what is that? Because not every college has it specified that way yeah. and uh, human development and family studies basically is self-explanatory you study the human development uh, biologically socially psychologically and so on and uh family studies obviously you're studying the family and right. social and right. things like that uh history is self-explanatory and i also uh minor in women's gender and sexuality studies cool so. oh nice wow that's a, that's a full package right there yeah it's good i, I like to keep yeah. busy yeah <laughs> keeps things exciting so what else do you do on uh, for uconn do you, are you part of any groups? Anything yeah, like actually, I write for the university editorial. Uh, it's called One University Place, and uh, we write different... I, I head up the kind of the entertainment section. I write a lot about like TV, TV shows, sitcoms, things like that. Um, kind of like my guilty pleasure. Yeah, and yeah, then, definitely. Uh, I also uh, head the psychology club there, so... Cool. Wow, oh, so you're, you're a well-rounded student then. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so for the first segment of Podcast Charge, as you all know, in what we call now Weekly Charge... We talk about the news of UNH, and we'll go over something really quick. Just only one story since it's really the end of semester. Everything's starting to pack up. Everybody's starting to leave. Finals, right? So we're going to talk about one story that's actually very uh, inspirational. I think it was a very fun story I wanted to talk about. Get out there to you beautiful people. So for this year, for the Lanterns of Love, which is an event that the To Write Love on Our Arms does every year. Uh, it's the third year they're doing it. And so what they've done... On April 29th, uh, club members and non-members alike decorated mason jars, which were appropriately lit at sunset to uh, more or less commemorate those people that they lost due to suicide and other um, really sad stuff like that. So, uh, right from the article, to write love on our arms, chapter lit lanterns of love to honor and remember those who passed away from suicide. To write love on our arms is described on the official website as a nonprofit movement dedicated to presenting hope and finding help for people uh, struggling with depression, addiction, self-injury, and suicide. Uh, that group exists to encourage, inform, inspire, uh, as well as invest directly into treatment and recovery. So if you have any other problems like that from the, uh, on campus, you're dealing with depression or maybe a lot of pressure, definitely reach out to them. They are the best to you know help you out there, as well as any friends and uh, stuff like that. This specific event, Lanterns of Love, was designed to promote awareness and support for those who have lost someone to suicide and to provide uh, provide a light in the darkness, reminding all that there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. That's a very, uh, very nice event that they do. I think that's um, very, what's the word I'm looking for? Inspirational? Or? Inspirational. Thank yeah, no, it definitely is. So, that's awesome. Uh, and again, if you have any problems with depression or anything like that, definitely reach out to them. They can help. All right? Yeah. So, I mean, that's a very short article, but again, it's the only one that I actually wanted to bring awareness to all of you out there. This article was actually wrote by Francesca or Francesca Fontanez. Sorry if I'm really butchering the name, but great job writing the article. Um, I definitely had a good time reading it. So, with that out of the way, let's get into our topic of yeah. Podcast Charge today, episode 5. So, nice. what is it, Jamie? Uh, well, our topic will be television, television shows. And uh, kind of the the state of television and streaming and watching TV nowadays in the 2015, in the yeah. 21st century. All right, Captain, so kick it off. Uh, well, uh, my personal favorite genre of television shows is uh, I really like sitcoms. Sitcoms are like a guilty pleasure of mine. Uh, so I, I like sitcoms even from like back in the past. I would watch all the old sitcoms with my mom growing mm -hmm. up and everything. So, I mean, we watched I Love Lucy growing oh, up. Oh, really? Like, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, I... Uh, 
we stretch back a little, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. And then, but I mean, I also keep up with all the new ones with that, uh, all the shows air and everything. Right. Whenever the uh, channels air a new one, I'm like, oh, gotta check this out. You know, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it can also uh, wind up breaking your heart because oh, you get, because if you watch all of them, then so they're gonna get canceled. Some yeah, of them are gonna I'm... get canceled. Yeah, is, is, is it more like the fact that sitcoms, they seem to not really have an end? It's just mostly like they're canceled? Yeah, I mean, it, it's... it's something Would you say that like, the ratio, like, you know, canceled to actually ending? Well, all... that is one of the things that's really interesting about sitcoms, especially today, is that uh, a lot of times they don't know um, if they're going to be canceled mm. before the season ends, obviously. So before they finish filming, they don't know whether or not that season finale is actually going to be the series finale. So whereas a lot of shows, like if you look at Frasier, which ran for like a lot of I want to say like 11 seasons but it might yeah and then it won like that has holds the record for um primetime Emmys uh almost every season ended like with a cliffhanger okay they pretty much knew they were being renewed you know? yeah yeah but um yeah. a lot of times like if you look at and this is going to be my little segue into my favorite okay. TV show that's on right now which actually just got canceled which is the Mindy Project <laughs> Uh, which is on okay. Fox. Yeah, it's on I Fox on Tuesdays, yeah. but it got canceled yesterday, and I am very sad about it because it's my favorite show. Um, oh, but that wow. show ended kind of with a cliffhanger, um, and a little spoiler alert, uh, it ended with Mindy's boyfriend going to meet her parents. Her parents live in India in the show. and uh, But he didn't actually meet them. Like He just opened the door and said, you know, I'm... I'm oh, so you to like, imply like, what happened. And that's how it ended. Like... And uh, it really, it was, it was the third season, so you would think it would get picked up, because once the show gets picked up for a fourth season, usually you can get syndication and yeah. run on other channels. Yeah. But, uh, alas, no, the, the no. you know, the that, powers that be. That sitcom was Sean Hayes. Uh, oh, yeah, Sean Hayes, The World. Uh, yeah. On NBC. Well, that, yeah, that got canceled too. I was like, really? Already? That did, I, that's the other thing, you know? too, is that uh, a lot of them don't get past one season. And a lot of shows don't find their rhythm until, like, two or three seasons in. I know, like, even Seinfeld, if you go and watch the first season, it's not the same show. You know, the show, the iconic show that everyone yeah, knows, yeah, yeah. Um, like, season three or season four in. And, uh, and you, it gets you sad sometimes. Because yeah. a lot of shows that have yeah. potential, you feel like, are uh, nipped in the bud. Yeah, exactly. No, that's why I loved two shows uh, growing up with my father. I used to watch yeah. them every Monday night. And that was How I Met Your Mother, which oh, right. thankfully had an ending. Right, yes, right. my God. Oh, just, that would be terrible yeah, if that show got canceled. See, that's the early. thing. Like, it just drew out, like, you won't know who the mother it's is. You won't know who the mother is. Until, like, the eighth season, um, and then you find out, you know. It, it, right. I think it did a really, really great job yeah. with, like, the ending of it. But then the other one was Two and a Half Men. Right. And that somewhat had an ending. It did. Right? I actually, yeah, I watched the... I stopped watching after Charlie left, to be honest. Yeah, see, I watched that sh That was a show that I watched on and off, and, um... I watched it the first season after uh, Charlie after after Charlie Sheen left, and it was pretty it was pretty good with Ashton Kutcher. I, no, he was good. Credit. Yeah, he was good. But then yeah. I kind of it tapered off because I just felt like it was a little too. I don't. Know, I just didn't. I didn't find it as funny as it used to be. But I did watch then the last season again, and I gotta say that the finale, like the series finale that they did, was so tongue in cheek and like referencing all the seasons and kind of oh, like, really? you know taking little digs here and there at themselves, at Charlie Sheen, at the actors, at even the son. You know when he came yeah, back yeah. Um, after all the controversy. Oh yeah, yeah, because like he was like this show's like garbage. Yeah. yeah. So he but he came back for the finale, and I I gotta say I was satisfied with that. I was like that was oh really that okay. was a good way to go out. I didn't. I didn't really see it. like I did not care for it to be yeah. honest at all. But um, yeah. I did see the end scene of like what happened to Charlie yeah. coming back. <laughs> exactly. So I was like, okay, whatever. No, they, yeah. that was clever. I also uh, talking about how I met your mother. Um, the one that wound up playing the mother. Um, yes, I I can't remember I know her it's name. It's something. Yeah. But yeah. I she was she was in the, she was in the Wolf of Wall Street. Yes, and then she yeah. also got cast in an NBC comedy. Um, a oh, to really? Z. Yeah, this past season it was cool. on A to Z. And fantastic show. It was a great little romantic comedy show, and I loved it. And of course, it got canceled. <laughs> and that was <laughs> broke my heart down the middle. Um, and then that, and then so then she actually wound up on the mini project for the last two episodes of oh, the nice. mini project. Okay. And then the mini project got canceled. So, so, so I mean, the, well, I mean, coming from that, from like, you know, shows being canceled like right after the first season. That's going right. to like cable versus streaming, which is like yes. the biggest hit right now. You know, Absolutely. Netflix, Hulu, um, Crunchyroll. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Crunchyroll, like all these streaming services that just provide you the shows right then and there. Right. You know, versus 
you know, a sitcom. Week by week, exactly. Yeah, or even like, yeah, by week by week, or even like an ABC or any like kind of show like that. That's like not guaranteed a future. With like Netflix, you probably are. Exactly. Well, that is one of the things that's interesting about Netflix. Um, We'll actually talk about the Mindy Project that got canceled by Fox, but they're actually in talks right now with Hulu. To okay. see if Hulu will pick them up, and if they pick them up, they'll pick them up for a two-season order. Nice. Just kind of speaking to the point you just made, and uh, fingers crossed for that. Yeah, um, definitely. But, right. Yeah, even speaking, like you said, about Netflix, um, the new comedy Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, which is, mm. I just binge-watched the entire first season, and I gotta say... 13 episodes, up, right? Yeah, 13 episodes, okay. and it's already renewed for season two. Nice. And that was awesome. actually supposed to air okay. on NBC, and NBC really? canceled it before it even aired, so Netflix... NBC's, Hopped on the uh, bandwagon. NBC's getting a little touchy, aren't they? And it's interesting about NBC. Let me tell you, viewers, um, all about NBC. <laughs> which, uh, I mean, NBC is the home of Friends, the home of Seinfeld. I mean, the home of a lot of iconic comedies. And if you... This is the last season of Parks and Recreation, which a lot of people are wondering... Which if, I heard got canceled, too. Yeah, I mean, that's it's over now. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are wondering if that's, like, the last great NBC comedy. Because if you look at NBC right now, there's really only um, three sitcoms on it, and they're all up in the air. They yeah, had like yeah. a, a about a boy, which has it got like pull. It's it's not airing right now. They got uh, Marry Me, which is eh, you know, the ratings are okay, and then um, that new show by Ellen DeGeneres, One Big Happy, um, oh, and cool, cool, and, cool. You know, they all have clever premise, you know, premises. I, I like them. I enjoy them, but yeah. they're, they're nothing. There's no like like Modern Family on ABC is like a ballpark hit you know it's like a home run people love it i don't know you don't love it i hate it oh my goodness i hate it oh, i'm sorry like scandalous I, no i'm sorry it's just like one because i was just like flipping through channels i was like yeah. oh i'm not a fan just check it out i like i can't like I, it's not my humor i can't i can't deal with it i mean like it's on yeah no no really like yeah to each his own like i'm not really like a sitcom person right, right, right. So, um, I, like, the sitcoms I do watch, like, it has to have, like, a story. Like, I have to right, reconnect right, to, like, the characters of it. Right. So that's why I love dramas. That's um, good. No, I, dramas are good. Yeah, I love dramas so much. <laughs> it's, it's bad to say, but I love no, dramas. No, that's shows. fine. We each have our own genre. Yeah. I mean, that's um, why you can, obviously, you guys know I'm talking about sitcoms a lot because I love them. But I yeah, yeah. I do watch dramas, too. No, so. because I, like, I'm very generalized to, like, just, like, one type of show. So I like action. I like drama. So nice. action for Daredevil on Netflix Watch that. It's really good. I know you haven't watched it yet, but you need to. I didn't. I'm a Marvel. I'm like such a Marvel fan. Yeah. So I really I need to, I no, need to get so on that. No, it's so good. Like it, it like it makes mentions like Avengers and stuff like that. Yeah, because they they everything for them they mm-hmm. really is post Avengers about being in the universe. You know, like yeah. the Marvel's Agents of Shield. Exactly. Yeah. Have, yeah. And, um, yeah. Uh, Agent Carter. Mm-hmm. About Peggy Carter. Yeah, the mini series which I have to check out. As I love Captain America, you can obviously know that. <laughs> and Halle Haley Atwell plays uh, Peggy Carter. She up. She's a cute. A plus, yeah. She's, she's, she's great. Um, what other uh, shows? Are, Once Upon a Time. I watched I uh, season one and season three. So um, yeah, they're see that I, I think season one and season mm-hmm. we are now with season four are like the top of their game. Like oh, okay. every That's episode good. in season four has been nonstop roller coaster ride. I really like the creativity. It's yeah, it's like, every time like the way it blends like different it. fairy tales and then like Disney characters along with like the story that they're building up is insane. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's like it's like literally the the premise is That's characters cool. coming out from a storybook living in our world and how they react. That's so it's awesome. pretty cool. I, yeah, like, I like that. That's a good um, premise. The Walking Dead. Uh, obviously a famous. I one. just started that actually on Netflix, which you know, thanks to Netflix. But uh, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a, that's actually that's a good one too. And I, I remember right when that came out, I remember thinking, what if they have, you know, they have so many zombie movies? What if they have a show about zombies? And uh, yeah. there it is. The only so, problem with this one is that. This I think this one needs like a solid ending. Right. And the problem is the creator who's like I made a book, I made a comic book series that it right, would never end. Right. Because yeah. exactly, so. it'd be like asking for an ending to the Marvel. Yeah. Comics. You it know, can like, never right, let's just wrap it up, guys. Yeah. It can, it can never. Well, no. it is kind of happening now. Well, they like, kind of wrap up the not, character. Yeah. Okay. You know, like well, for the Secret Wars, what they're doing is like something completely crazy. Like they're ending like one universe and starting another. Like it's crazy. Right. Yeah. yeah exactly. They so gotta keep it fresh. Right. So um. But so for Walking Dead, I think he's ending. Yeah. But what other drama shows are you into? I like all uh, dramas are good. I mean, I don't know if you'd consider these kind of like soap dramas. Like on Thursday night on ABC, they have like How to Get Away with Murder was the new show that came out this uh, okay past year, and that was really good. Uh, I felt like that was uh pretty interesting. I, I like Shonda Rhimes with her you know Grey's Anatomy and Scandal and everything. I mean, she kind of. 
It's one of those ads, hit after hit. So, yeah, yeah. You know, thumbs up for her. Which, and also, it's great because all those shows are very diverse. You know, they have people of color, they have, you know, LGBTQI characters, they have a lot of strong women on it, they have, I mean, they're super, super great to watch yeah. for that kind okay. of thing, you know. Um, I don't know if you consider American Horror Story a drama. Uh, I guess, It's yeah. kind of, a, it's definitely I mean, you, a drama. You, it's like a horror drama. You, 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 watch, you watch it more than I have. Yeah, I have watched so, it more than you. I only so. watched the first two episodes. I've, I've watched, like, I've, I've watched every episode. So, I mean, I like, I'm one of those, also, I, when I dedicate to a show, like, I, I see it through to the end, too. So, like, I did the same thing with Glee, which is also Ryan Murphy, created both American Horror Story and Glee. I saw a couple episodes of that, yeah. Glee, nice. Glee just ended this year, so that was, but they knew they were ending. They were like, we're going out, you know. Yeah. And that was really good. That was one of those shows that had its ups and downs and everything, but it was kind of, you know, it always was with, with me. Yeah. Heart. But, um, also, American Horror Story uh, is one of those interesting shows, because each season has different, um... It has the same it has the same actors, but they're different characters and different storylines. Okay. So the first season is about ghosts and the mur- you know it's murder house is what it's titled. Yeah. Um, but then the next yeah. season is about an insane asylum. The next season is about uh, a coven. The last season was about a circus, which I feel like was the weakest season. Okay. But but some people think it's their favorite. So that's it is that is what's good about a show like that is that you can always go back to your favorite season. Yeah, and that's it stands an, alone. That's an interesting like way of like setting yeah. up a show. It's not like you know they're all continuous. It's more like here are these separate stories, even though they're the same actors. Right. They're different characters. Yeah, exactly. And I know um what's her name Emma Roberts is on it. Yes, and actually, yeah. with she just got so now Ryan Murphy's getting a new show. You know, he's always has new projects going on. So now he's gonna be on. Uh, she Emma Roberts is gonna be on his new show, Screen Queens, which is gonna be on Fox actually in the nice. fall. And uh, nice. it's kind of like it's what well, he's trying to create a new dra- uh, new genre of uh, horror and comedy, blending it together. That so Jamie Lee like Curtis is gonna be on that. Lee Leah Michelle from Glee will be on that. So nice. I think that'll be fun to check out. Yeah. I, I'll always check out a new show. I'll I'll give it a chance yeah definitely definitely I think that'll be cool so um beyond new shows i think we should talk about what everybody's probably thinking now who's watching and that's like the old throwback shows yeah it's that nostalgia is real big yeah right? sitcoms all that We're, we'll get into most of them um and the ones that i used to watch like religiously were cartoons oh i love cartoons yeah, yeah, yeah. cartoons like Yu Gi Oh, um, Yu-Gi-Oh pokemon pokemon guys Spon- I'll be and Spongebob, girls. Hey Arnold. Spongebob. Spongebob is still going strong. and I It is. Up it is. It's, it's like... Well, and I'll still make references. It's over 15 seasons now. Exactly. And I'll still make references to uh, oh, yeah. Spongebob. Like yeah. a, 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 something exciting is about to happen. You know, like, or like I'm waiting for a movie release with my friend or something. Yeah. I'm like, can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. I, actually, I actually made a reference. I was with my friend yesterday. I made a yeah. reference. I was like, he was number he was one. one. Exactly. <laughs> it's such a good show. It's, but, a, uh, it's such an iconic. Yeah, uh, it is. That Time. Exactly. Uh, no, Disney, shows. Disney cartoons of what? Kim Possible. Kim Possible. What's the six? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Exactly. I love it. Oh, I wish I could get like a ringtone, but that I can't a, find it. Oh man, that would be right. That would be fantastic. Yeah. That would be ultimate nostalgia. My ringtone is actually um, the Pokemon theme from the Game Boy. There you go. See that works. Yeah. That was a Game Boy. I remember playing with my Game Boy. Uh, do you do you, you know Nintendo 3DS themes that they have? Yes. So for people that don't know, Nintendo 3DS now has like little themes you put like in the background. So you open up like your system, you see something cool. I have the Pikachu one, that's and so nice. every time it opens, is you hear. Yeah, I love it. It's awesome, and then it plays like one of the town themes. Oh, that's awesome. And then every time like you like you move like the menu, you see Pikachu yeah. like opening and closing his eyes, like it's the off it's the most that, awesome thing ever. Science. Yeah. I love science, it. right? I love that technology. <laughs> uh, but I just want okay. No, absolutely. Back on the topic. No, that's exactly right. No, but cartoons. Cartoons are um iconic, they're definitely a part of uh everything. And that's also something interesting to talk about too, is like um cartoons even aimed at adults, you know, mm-hmm. like how they have still family guys still on and they yeah. have Bob's burgers, yeah. which is funny. Um, they, they had a lot on American um, Dad, but I don't think that's on anymore. I think it is. Or maybe it got canceled. I don't know. We'll see. You would know. I'm not sure. Oh, you would well, know. I don't. I don't know <laughs> the cartoons as much. I didn't watch them as much. I mean, I watched Family Guy for like I. I think it more goes through a Family Guy. Yeah, yeah, But like, I kind of I don't watch it as much anymore. No, I don't. I don't either. I kind of just like it lost. South Park. Lost, that's another cartoon. It lost. It lost some of the con- comedic flair for me. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a, a lot of different. like nice. cartoons now that are for adults. Like um, the one on FX Archer. Oh yeah. yeah which my friend yeah. says is really good, but I never really got into it. Uh, I'm not. I'm not big on like American-made uh, um, mm, cartoons. Right, right. 
Oh, right, because you watch shows. anime. Like, yeah, I watch anime. It just got like, out of Which is like, much. yeah, which is like more or less like the adult cartoon show because right. it takes like very serious issues. It's kind of really weird. Right. But it's it's really good. I like them. No, that's good. Um, I guess a lot of sitcoms are very weird. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes they can actually work to their detriment. I mean, I, I, if, if they're funnier that way sometimes, but I think sometimes networks get scared if they're like a little too wacky where they'll just be like, hmm, let me, you know. Or a little too serious. Back, or too serious, yeah, exactly. If the tone gets too... But speaking of serious... Yes, sir? Boy Meets World. Boy Meets World. That's Boy a show I think world. everyone, kind of from uh, our generation, would, oh, I know, so. would know and definitely... Uh, yeah, this like the, the like, yeah, you can, I used to watch it so much, and yeah, exactly, I think I, we're all. But speaking of like serious issues, like there is one point, like for Eric, the character, yeah, yes. for people who don't know, there's a little tidbit. They actually plan to like have him commit suicide at one point, really, which is pretty crazy. Like yeah, for a yeah. show like that, yeah, you for know, a show that was as an ABC network, you know, yeah, and it time. comes off as like a comedy show, right? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. It was a sitcom, so that's definitely yeah. They explored a lot of you know dark and and. Not dark in the sense of like depressing, but just dark in the sense of human, you know, human yeah. experience. Yeah, they really exactly. Definitely, uh, they didn't shy away from that, and I think that was to the show's credit. Oh, was, yeah, they went far. I mean, beyond. still, everyone still knows that show. Yeah. And now they have uh, Girl Meets World as a follow up because of how iconic That's pretty that good. show was, and I think it's good. I mean, I've watched it. I had. I mean, how can you not tune in? I mean, Ben Savage, you like, how, this is exactly, how can like you he not and Topanga it. came back. Like, like they're still they're married and they're back on the show and they even had Eric um, guest yeah. star and they have yeah. oh my god uh, oh the they had Sean guest star and the, the thing is like I think he was back from multiple episodes wasn't he I think so because I remember that episode where I think it was Christmas or Thanksgiving one of those two and Sean came over and then like he has some problems with uh, Corey's daughter oh, right, right, for right. some reason um, I just thought those, those, they played off really well. Like, Definitely. They, they play off like serious topics, but like right. bring it to light. And the chemistry is all still there too, which is so oh, completely. Kind of, and those kids, like, I mean, those kids are fantastic. Yeah, yeah they fantastic. are. I really think the the blonde uh, Sabrina Carpenter. I can't remember her name on the show. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm this, I don't know. I want to say it. Sam, but I know it's wrong. That's not Sam. But it's, not <laughs> it's Sam. definitely not Sam. I think Sam is like Sam and Cat is the blonde girl from. <laughs> but, but Sabrina Carpenter, she yes. steals the show every time. I think. I mean, everybody's really good, but I think She's good. she like stands out. She definitely, yeah, exactly. Talking about kids standing out on shows, it's. I mean, I, I know you don't like Modern Family, but the kids on Modern Family are. Yeah, a lot of times that can make a show. I know on ABC the new show Blackish. Um, which just premiered this season. Oh, so, okay, uh, yeah, I heard that. Yeah, the with the kids um, on that show are so with uh, Anthony Anderson. Yeah, Anthony and, uh, Anderson. Oh my god, that that's like, some quality stuff. But the kids on that show are just like it's crazy, right? They're scene stealers yeah. every time, and you see this, you're like, how can these kids act so well and like just be so good at this? Like, good at making me laugh. Isn't it? Yeah, isn't it crazy? Like, they're so talented, like exactly. at that age. And then when you you know, go back in time, you're like. You know, we had this before with, like, Mary right. Kay and Ashley Olsen, Full exactly. House. Full or, House, oh my god, exactly. Yeah, or Nostalgia even, like, there. other shows, like, um, Different Strokes with, uh, what are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> you know, so, like, we, 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 we had that back then, it's just, like, now it's, like, it's it's you bigger, it, better, and funnier, you know? Exactly. It's crazy. Um, One of the shows I used to love, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Love Everybody knows Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Everyone knows Fresh Prince Everybody knows. Everyone has to know that. Yeah, seriously, like, when you see show. Will Smith, the thing is about Will Smith, though, like, when you see him, you're like, yeah, he's a dude. For, he's Fresh Prince. He right, always exactly. Fresh Prince. But every time I see him in a movie, yeah, for some reason, it just like blanks out of my mind. Because you can separate. Yeah, exactly. He's such a good he's actor. A good actor. I mean, that's why he made it. I mean, that's of course you have to. You see these roots, and that's some, that's another interesting thing about sitcoms. Like people who go on from sitcoms and then like become, you know, such big stars. I mean, have you seen ever seen Brian, Bridesmaids? movie yeah oh, such a funny it's movie such a hilarious movie that and is Melissa a McCarthy funny movie is you know was obviously on Mike and Molly first yeah and yeah. the sitcom and I watched that and I was like this girl's hilarious you know and I mean she had been in things before that was like her first break but then um, Mike and Molly's really good I that is it. hilarious yeah. I love that show yeah. and then uh and now her character on Mike and Molly is more like her character that she plays in the movies because people you know the nation you know nationwide yeah, yeah, yeah. audience responded to that so well I'm like God, this is fantastic. So actually, you can kind of see that little evolution, and I think that's awesome. You know, to her credit, that she's still doing movies, and she's going to be in the new Ghostbusters. Yeah, and yes, she is. Line, yes, she is. That is going to. I'm excited for that. That she's sounds really cool. Because also Kate McKinnon and uh, Leslie. They got a good cast. From, uh, yeah, exactly. From SNL are going to be on it. So. They got a good cast. But that's a good show. I like, I like you mentioned that Mike and Molly. Cause yeah, that's a good one. It's a. It's, I've seen a couple of episodes, and they're hilarious. It is, and again, that's a lot of the chemistry too with the yeah. people there. It's just like. 
dynamite, you know? Yeah, so that, that's, I think that's what makes the shows work more, though, the chemistry between characters. Absolutely. You know, like, yeah. once Seinfeld, Friends. Seinfeld, Friends. How I Met, how friends, I Met Your Mother. Honestly, your if, mother. If, they, if that didn't work in How I Met Your Mother for, like, the group of people... Right. It would have been a sh- like a completely exactly. bad show, right? It's, a, it's, a has to, it's an ensemble. It has to yeah. work. Like, yeah, everyone has to be. Which makes things like all the more heartbreaking when like it has to end. Exactly. So I can't imagine like when you all go through like you really like these characters get and like pulled, yeah. It's, oh my god, it's so heartbreaking. Well, that's like happy yeah. endings was like really if you liked Friends, then happy endings was like what I kind of like to call like the spiritual successor to Friends. It was on yeah, ABC. Yeah. And it only ran for. Four seasons, I want to say. It might okay. have been three, but I, I think it only went for four. And then it got canceled, and there was like rumors like, oh, someone's going to pick it up. Maybe another network will get it. Maybe they'll come back together. And yeah, this yeah. still is, is proven to not work. Like, they're all on separate shows and everything. And But that was just one of those shows where the chemistry was fantastic. It was so funny, but it was just low rate. Right, right. Just not enough people watched it. Wow. Oh, man. Sad. Yeah, that is sad. sad. But, so, last thing before we get to the end of the show, what would you prefer? Cable? Or streaming. I know. I bet all my money on streaming. I definitely think streaming is the future. I think that's a lot. I think people love the fact that, like with House of Cards or like mm-hmm. um, Orange is the New Black or like even Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, the fact that it's like, you know, oh, it's released May third and the whole season's there. Yeah. And then you can just yeah. watch it and you like you don't have to wait a week. There's no commercials. And a lot of people watch TV like that anyway. They watch it. I see at UConn, or, you know, uh, the, the campus where I go, I'll be walking by and I'll see people on the, you know, chairs there with their laptops open watching Modern Family, you know, or watching sitcoms yeah. or watching shows because yeah. that's just, it's the most convenient way, you know? I mean, I personally, I guess just because of growing up, like watching TV, I love the cable box, or, you know, like not yeah, the cable no, it's box like itself, traditional, but you know what I mean, yeah. just watching it. Yeah. On the TV. It's traditional. And I like, yeah. I kind of like having to wait a week. Like, that's kind of the suspense. Like, I know one of the dramas I like is Revenge. Oh, uh, okay. Um, with Emily okay. Van Camp, who thumbs up for her. Yeah. Because she's just, she's like, she's fantastic. Yeah. She's something else. But, um, she, watching that show, I was like, that's one of those shows where I like, like, it ends with a cliffhanger every week. Yeah. And it's yeah. almost I like, love I, too, I feel like I don't deserve to watch the next episode yet. Like, I have <laughs> to wait a week because it's like, I usually, I am not supposed to know. It's supposed yeah. to be suspense. I have to wait. It's like, it's a thing. No, but I, that's, exactly. I, I know exactly what you mean, though. I like, I like having to wait. Right. You know, but the thing is, like, there's some shows I watch, like, One Arrow, uh, right. Once Upon a Time, and where I just can't wait a week. Like, I need to see That's it, like, right then and there, you well, know? With Orange is the New Black, I have to say, I did watch it in one weekend. After both, I, I kind of jumped on the main line late, so two, did, both seasons were already out. I did the same with House of Cards. And I was like, this is, I need just, next yeah. episode, next episode. Yeah. But if they didn't give us that option, then you'd have to wait. Yeah, the, 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 but, it's, but also, it's nice to have that option. Yeah. But then if you have that option and don't utilize it, then there's a spoiler, the True. possibility of spoilers. Yeah, that was the problem with Daredevil. Like, I was, I was, um... I was, I had to watch out for spoilers on that one. Right, exactly. But the thing is, like, Netflix, like, make these shows, like, you have to see one after another. Right. Or, like, certain shows that you have to wait week by week, then make it, you have to wait. They, yeah, they, so they so It's all about, like, how you plan it, yeah. In mind, like that. Yeah, even with Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, I know that. Because it was originally for Netflix, before NBC, once it got canceled and moved to Netflix, they had to add it a little bit and rework it a little yeah, bit to yeah. make it the right length and everything, so, Okay. Yeah. All right. But, well, that was a fun talk. We, I think so. I mean, I can. Yeah, exactly. I, I know we I can, can talk, talk about, about like TV all day, like <laughs> ever. I mean, it's inter- there's all kinds of. Uh, yeah, there's so, there's so many other shows on like Breaking the Bad and like all that Breaking stuff. Breaking Bad, exactly. Um, iconic shows. But I mean, I mean, well, I'll definitely have you on the show again because a lot of fun. I would love to. Be we back. continue this, this with TV oh, TV show talk, right? Yeah. So it'll be a lot of fun to talk about that more. Um, she's definitely gonna be back. Like without Thanks. doubt. If you guys, if you guys want. No, of course, <laughs> of course. I'm the host. You're yeah, coming yeah, back. Just, right. No, but thank you, thank you. This was great. This was a lot of fun. Awesome, awesome. So I'm glad you had fun. But we always end podcast charge with a quote of the week, or a quote of two quotes of the week actually, because episode four we aired on Thursday. We're airing episode five right now, Friday. Uh, Friday, right? Today's Friday. Today's Friday. Today's Friday. Okay, so. Today's Friday. <laughs> all right, so we're going to end it off with a quote of the week, and I just thought it's like right off the bat, I had to do it because it's such a legendary quote. Um, pun, pun intended. Um, pun intended. It's by uh, Barney from How I Met Your Mother. And if you. Yeah. You, <laughs> you probably know this quote. I know the quote. I know the quote. I have to it's admit, so I iconic. Watch, I didn't watch How I Met Your Mother as religiously as this guy here. Um, mm-hmm. But I, I respect it. It's like it it's a, it's really iconic. So for all you know, if you want the next episode of Podcast Charge, all right, yes. right the next episode of Podcast Charge is this is gonna be the final one of the semesters. You have to wait till next semester in August around there. 
sucks, but um, just to let you know, the next episode is going to be Legend. Wait, Wait for it. it. Dairy. Ah! That's it. Okay, that was the quote of the week. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> awesome quote. I think that's a good way to end off this episode. Definitely. Go on to the next one for next semester. Thank you guys so much for watching episode Thank five you. of Podcast Chart, as well as, as well as the previous episodes. It's been a lot of fun. Can we just take it more forward? I guarantee you it's going to be bigger and better once it comes next semester with more guests, obviously, okay. and more news about New Haven, University of New Haven, and with more awesome guests like Captain America over here. That's me. Thank you, right. thank you. So thank you guys for watching. Catch you for the next episode next semester. Yes. Stay cool. Hit the pool. Hit the beach. Do exactly. whatever you can. Enjoy your summer. Yep. Do something good. Do something good. Do something active. Exactly. And have fun. All right? Thanks. Stay safe. Bye.